Hey guys, this is Chirag from Techogram. Today we're gonna learn what is a friend function in C++. So let's get started. So first you need to know the difference between a simple function and a friend function. So the difference between a simple function and a normal function is that so if you have to declare a normal function outside of the class you have to write for example the name of the function is display and then what you have to do you have to first write the return data type and then for example if the name of the class is sample we have to write sample scope resolution and then the name of the function but the friend function can be declared directly with just writing void and then the name of the function second difference is that for calling a simple function you have to use the object dot name of the function but to call a friend function you do not need any these any of this thing you can directly just write this and then pass the argument in a simple function you have to pass the argument as variables for example you can write this and then integer a but in a friend function what is happening you have to pass because it takes only object as argument and return the value as object so if you want to pass the argument for example you can see here the name of our class is sample so you have to write sample and then the object which we will use for example we are using s so this is how this is passing a variable and this is we can pass an object so we will see an example here as usual first we will include our basic header files which are now as i said we will declare a class we will just declare a class and then a single integer we will write two function first will be just to get the input from the user and second the display function to display the output to the user and we will make the display function the friend function so first the syntax for the class is same we will name the class sample and in that we will declare a variable so we will declare an integer type variable and we will name it number then in public section we will declare our input function so void input if you don't know how to declare the functions and object please go watch my all previous videos i have explained this in very detail here i'm not explaining it too well because i already made a separate video about this so go check them out all the links will be in the description check it below so now we have declared a void input function we will just write c out and to print it in a new line we will use slash n and the message will get printed in a new line and now we will print enter any number and then we will save it in c in that variable which we have declared which is n over here and now we will close our void input so the friend properties some properties of friend function is that it take as i said it takes only object as value and return the object as value it is not a class member but it has special privilege to the protected at private member you cannot call any for example if i make a friend function display i cannot call directly this integer number we have to use the name of the object and then we can call a friend function so first we will declare a friend function here and we will define it outside of class so that i can show you what are the advantage of a friend function so to declare a friend function the syntax is the keyword friend then the return data type so we will write void because the display function doesn't return anything and then the name of the function which is this so it is for display and now we will close our semicolon we have to write argument but why i explain it later after defining our void main so that you can understand and then outside of the class we will declare our function friend function so if it was a simple function as i said in the difference you have to write void the name of the class scope resolution name of the function but it is a friend function so you can directly define it so to define friend function use the syntax the first the return data type and then the name of the function which is this and then in this we will write the number which we have taken so slash n for the new line and number entered by the user is and then we'll concat our n po so this is looking like a simple function but you have to change many things here i will explain you after declaring the void main so we will quickly write void main and in the void main we will create an object so to create an object as i said you have to use the name of the class so name of the class is sample and we will use s 
and now we will write CLR and CR. This is just to clear the screen of any previous output. And now we will call our two functions. First is our this you can see input function which we have declared inside the class and then we will call our display function which we have declared outside of the class. So to call this you because the input function is a simple function we have to use the name of the object the dot and then write the name of the function and now you can see the display function is a friend function so to call this directly write the name of the function and the brackets and now last we will write the get cs so that we can hold the screen for output and then close our void name now what changes you have to make as i said the display function have special privileges but it cannot access the member of a class in this void display you can you see i have used the no but if i run the program there will be many errors i can show you and you can see undefined symbol no the no symbol is undefined the error is showing because the friend function cannot directly access the class sample so we have to pass the object as argument so from the display function because this is a friend function we have to pass the object and because we have passed object we have to save it here in our function function definitions so to pass object as variable we have to use the name of the class as we used in the template previous video and then any you can use any object here so we'll just use s and because we have taken written this we have to do the same thing here we have to write sample as here or it doesn't matter you can leave it here after returning sample as i said that we cannot use this function directly we have to call, use it by the object so the object here is s dot no now the class object can access the variable and the output will be get printed but we will run the program you can see enter any number we will enter 56 and number entered by the user is 56 so this is how you can use the friend function and i will explain it once again what happened here first we have created a class so in the class you can see here is a class in the class we have declared a simple just one integer and o number of integer data type then in the public section we have written two function one of the function is a simple function and the second function is a friend function so the simple function we directly use the return data type and name of the function and printed a message enter any number and save that in the variable which we have created here you can see no no and now we have to make the display function friend function so we have to use the syntax keyword friend then the return data type and then the name of the function as i said earlier also that the friend function cannot take a simple variable as input we have to pass an object so the name of the class and while declaring you can also see we have to directly write the name of the function with the return data type and use the object as argument you cannot directly access an friend functions variable you have to use the name of the object then we have in the void when we have created an object sample as then we cleared the screen, called our simple function output, then we called our display function. You can see I have used s, s is the object of our class. So the friend function can take object as argument. So we have passed it here, then it got saved here. And that number which is saved in s.no is displayed. So this is how you can use the concept of friend function in C++. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, press the like button. If you have any question, comment, query or suggestion, please leave that in the comment box. Subscribe for more. Bye.